So it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen, as we set our eyes on the number one light heavyweight contender, Daniel. I often say the greatest part of this job for you and me is seeing a non-champion break through and strike UFC gold for the first time. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Because you watch these athletes over the course of the fight week try to wrap their mind around how big of a chance they have. And then when you get to Saturday night, you can see it on their face. They're just thinking about what life looks like now. If I get it done, how does my life change? Tonight he has an opportunity to change everything in regards to his life. And his fight week has been in exceptional. It was a great weight cut, very forthcoming in our fighter meeting. All eyes on the number one 205 pound contender here tonight. So far, so good in the octagon for the Brazilian light heavyweight contender. Johnny Walker gets a step up in competition here tonight. Yes, and he has stepped up to every person that he's fought, and he's not, he's dominated them. Now, the only adversity he's had is hurting himself, finishing a fight, and doing his celebratory worm. I said, Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker, you got to find a different way to celebrate, my friend. Yeah, dislocated his shoulder after the Misha Serkunov fight. That was another first round finish for Johnny Walker. Has a great frame, great length for this light heavyweight division. And we'll see how it goes for Johnny Walker Blue here tonight. is palpable. Both fighters have now graced the octagon, ready to go with this massive fight here at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, USA. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. Johnny Walker Blue, if I can call him that. He has worked very hard to round out his overall MMA game. But this is a striker at his core. And as Ryan Spann and Misha Serkinov and others can attest, when he's on his game, he's one of the most devastating strikers in this division. He likes to have fun in the octagon. Certainly, he's a fan favorite. And tonight, he feels like there's a matchup that might allow him to put on a show. Avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Walker. Just misses with the jab there. Man, his counter's on point tonight. The jab is good. Multiple kicks land on the target. Great job. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, nice jab up top by Ustami. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? He's going bomb. Oh, how about the accuracy land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. Oh. 
kick checked effectively there by Ustami. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, going back to the uppercut. Well, nearly connected. How about these two going at it? Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Missed with that right hand. Keep your head in it. Keep your head in it. Circling to his right. Under a minute now to go. Beautifully placed in time kick there by Walker. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing oh. the game. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, collar tag. Ustamir's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Second round, straight ahead. Heading back to the corner now. Uzdemir's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. Now, listen, guys. As long as it ain't like Jarzinho rolls a strike and Alistair over oh. him, you're fine. Cuts on the lip are okay, unless your lip is hanging off, like we have seen sometimes. That is not that, right. but he's got to protect it. I got Robbie Lawler on line one, by the way. Oh, yeah. To talk yeah, about Robbie. Lip cuts. Oh, my God. I was thinking. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on Robbie Lawler. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Slips the shot. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. So three total strikes have already connected for Johnny Walker. Well, and in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against Volkan Uzdal. sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He's able to slip the left there. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, and he caught the kick. Under two minutes here to go in round two. Lands a jab. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Unable to land on the uppercut there, but now starting to use that reach advantage. Nice leg kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Lead kick landed there by Walker. 30 seconds to go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. 15 seconds remain in the round. Bunches 
Two rounds in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Able to check that kick as well. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Unable to connect with the right hook. While the numbers continue to pile up here, 50. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go in round three. He passes to half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Oh. Takes his back. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. Changing the position. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Nice positional control here. I need you to get back to guard for me. Watch your hits. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. And very effective with the ground and pound. Nice shot there by the champ. He's got to start throwing now. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Uzdemir's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Final seconds. Uh, All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the stop, championship stop, stop. rounds. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, got, it got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the stage. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can drop <laughs> another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Mission 
Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Throwing that jab. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Hurtine steps in. Oh, my goodness. How about it? So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Johnny Walker. Well, he came in unquestionably as the best 205 pound fighter.